Hi guys, it's Datafox here. So I saw this puzzle of this uh, water containers and there was a question that which tank will be full first. And I'll show you the image right here. But anyways, so many people answered here that three would fill up first. And some people even say that four will fill up first. But if you look at it, uh, how it actually goes is that three fills up and fills the small conduit from three to four until it's at the point, the water level is at the point where uh, the water starts flowing to four. And then after that, uh, the, all the water that's going to the container 3 will go to the container 4 and the 3 will not fill up entirely and only after uh, 4 is at the same level at 3 then 3 and 4 will fill up at the same rate and they will be filled uh, simultaneously simultaneously uh, fucking English but anyways I suppose you're not just gonna take my word for it. So I made this animation with this fluid physics simula simulator that will confirm that what I'm saying is true. I could just build something out of straws and plastic cups like this other guy did on the post where this image was. And he too proved that three and four will fill up at the same time, but he didn't show any video proof for it, so many people doubted that he would be right. But here it is, the animation that proves that what I'm saying is correct. So here's the video, the animation, and as you can see I have the containers in a 3D environment, and they are transparent so you can see the fluid. So let's play the animation and I'll tell you what's happening while it's going on. The fluid starts flowing to uh, container 1, from that to container 2, and from that to container 3. And as you can see, the container 3 is filling, but the conduit is also filling. And right about now, the fluid starts flowing to the container 4, and the container 3 stays at that level. And soon, the container 4 is filled, and container 3 is filled at the same time, and now they're starting to overflow. So there's the proof, and there is another option, which would be that container 1 fills up first. That happens if the water that's coming to container 1 fills the container faster than the container can output the water to the container 2, which would mean that container 1 will fill up first and overflow and only then the other container starts filling up. But we're not taking that into account because that's not really what the question, what the picture is asking. But that is an, another option. But anyways, there's a proof. I am DataFox and thank you for watching this video.